so something that I've been going back and forth with in my mind, I ain't a hundred percent decided in, in stone yet anyway that I'm going to do it. But I, I feel like that as this thing develops, as the business model develops, we see, um, the, the camshaft work is, is pretty much took over the business. So, I mean, we just, we grind cams all day, every day. And, and that's all we do. It's hard to get enough time to do any real engine machine work, especially with all the C and C stuff that we need to be focusing on. Andrew can, can grind. But you know he he can't set it up he, he to to some extent but you know he he can't pick the right masters and get the index plates and you know get all of that stuff so I get everything set up and get it ready and and he can actually grind the cam right but you know we got all of these CNC projects and we got just God the amount of engine work is just insane. So I think what's going to happen is because I want to focus on, I mean, I think ultimately it would serve us and the performance community in such a better way for me to focus on all of these CNC projects and all of these new products that we're developing and get them to market and get them available versus you know building somebody's engine or doing the heads on you know bob's hot rod or whatever you know whatever it is and so i think what we're gonna do at i don't know the end of the summer or the end of the year i mean pretty much right now we've got enough engine work in the building to to take us to the end of the year um and I think starting next year, we're no longer going to do engine work for the public. Um, I think I think what would be you know again is this thing develops and and so many people are have so many positive things to say about the YouTube videos and about you know learning and and how the process goes on. I think it would just be better in the grand scheme of things to to do like a, you know we'll just use a core we have or we'll buy a core and build it go through the process of building the core <clears throat> on camera you know just like we do for a customer's engine and then you know when we're done we can either we can either sell it or you know auction it or give it away or put them on the website whatever but and we can build new engines with new blocks and all new components so we can still i think we can still incorporate that aspect to the business and still make videos out of it so people can see things being done and how it's done and how it should be done and i mean we've still got i don't even know uh and, and we're gonna do some videos but we've got like right now we've got uh a hypo 289 build coming up forward 289 uh it's got hypo 289 closed chamber heads i've never actually seen a set in real life and, and i've got a set here we got a 306 owner forward in the building uh, to, to do, all, I'm not assembling it, but we got the engine kit and we're gonna do all the machine work, go through the whole thing. And we've already started it a little bit. It's already been cleaned and, and some stuff. We got uh, a 428 Cobra jet that's been in another shop that made a mess out of it. And now we're gonna have to fix some stuff and build that and it's a stroker deal. Uh, We've got uh, a 345 International V8 that is going to get the full treatment. Um, 
We've got a 426 Pontiac. Just going to uh, be a nice little build. We're going to do a roller cam for it. Um, 460 Ford. This going to be a stroker. Um, that build's coming this year. Uh, we got a 496 Big Block Chevrolet that's coming this year. We got a couple of LT1s, Gen 5 LT1s, stroker stuff. Um, what else? We still got to finish the little Honda. We got to finish this uh, LS9. We got a bunch done to it today. Um, I'm just trying to think. Man, there's so much. Oh, we got some late Hemi uh, stroker build here. Here It's already here. And the uh, rods and cranks here. We're waiting on Wiseco. Wiseco's making the pistons. We're waiting on the pistons for it. And they, they was something else. I don't know. But there's a bunch. I mean, a bunch of neat stuff. Um, and and, I, and there's a handful of 350s and 383 small block Chevrolet builds. I think there's three or four of them here. So there's there's a there's a bunch of stuff. I mean, there's a bunch of engines. And I don't know, there's probably three or four more like 5.3s and LS1, 60 stuff. So... Yeah, there's I don't I don't know how many that is all together, but they, there's a lot of engines here, and they're all every one of them's gonna get you know full machine work, cams, head work, springs, you know the whole full package. Some of them's getting some custom piston stuff, fancy junk. Some of them's not so fancy stuff, but um, but but there's just there's so much of that, and we get man, we get so many calls every day literally the amount of phone calls we get every day people trying to send an engine to get it or, or get in line and we're telling people like the end of the year and people are trying to put down deposits and get in line for all the way at the end of the year and man i just like i don't want to be that far behind this it's so it's already stressful enough with just the cam orders and trying to keep up because we sell parts too and trying to keep the part stuff going and keep the cams going. And it's just, I mean, obviously it's just me and Andrew and the wife. And I mean, you cannot get any help. It's just, I, I, I don't know. It just, it's impossible. So I'm not even worried about that. We're just going to do what we can do. And that's all we're going to do. And, uh, but I want it to be what we do. And I want it to be quality and I want it to not be stressful for us. And I want it to not be stressful for the customer. I want you to be able to, or you know whatever service we offer i want to be able to offer it in a timely fashion if we're booked eight months nine months out i mean it's just they so much can happen in eight or nine months that by the time we get to you we actually might be three or four more months because of whatever bumps in the road and then you know people get I don't know, you know, they just, they want their stuff and I dig it. I mean, I, I want, I want to be done with your stuff and it just stuff happens. And, you know, we got all this other stuff going on and we're trying to schedule and it's just a catastrophe, you know, and I never, um, uh, claim to be, uh, you know, a super duper businessman or nothing. I, I mean, I'm just me and I fix broke stuff and make crap out of, chunks of metal and that's what i do and, and i'm pretty decent at that but logistics and scheduling and being a entrepreneur and a businessman I, i'm not any good at that and uh you know I, I think uh i think was it i think it was billy godbold he said about uh um john Lingfelter. you know he said you know john was the, probably the he was sharp. I mean, he was really sharp at engineering and making stuff work, but he sucked at business. And I kind of, I kind of, I feel like that a lot of days, you know, it's just like, you want to, you want to be good at everything, but it just, you know, it just, it just ain't that way. So, uh, so anyway, you know, bear, whatever, bear with me. If you, if you got stuff ordered, you know, we, we working on it. I promise we working on it. 
but uh but you know we're not ever late because we want to be we late because circumstances you know you just you just ain't nothing you can do about it i mean right now it's 7 30 or 8 o'clock at night and i'm out here trying to make you know a few videos to catch up on some stuff that i should have done this weekend but instead i ground cams all weekend because cam cam orders are coming in faster than i can grind them for every two for every two cams i grind we sell about three cams so i mean i'm working seven days a week just trying to keep up with cam orders <clears throat> and then in between that during the day you know i'm trying to work on this engine job or that engine job or set up this machine so andrew can run it or whatever we doing but andrew does most of the all of the filming and he does all of the editing so we, we want to try to capture this stuff on film so you know because that's the point to, to me that's the point and i want it to be on film so we can get it on youtube so it's out there the, the information is out there and available and i hate you know it just kills me that some of this stuff we just don't get to film we want to film it it's really good content but we just literally can't stop and film it because unfortunately it takes time we got to set up and just you know i mean it just takes time to film this stuff so we we just capture what we can and i wish we could capture all of it but there's just so much that goes on throughout the day we just we just can't we just can't capture it and one day maybe we can you know but right now we just we just can't but i think you know that ultimately i think that just stop doing work for the public and engine work engine work you you won't be able to you know bob won't be able to bring his 350 and drop it off and we do all the machine work or whatever anymore but it, you know if you want a brand new uh, dart ls stroker whatever you would be able to order that you would be able to you know we would say it'll be available whenever it's available or we have one in stock or we have a short block in stock and we can finish it with you know whatever cam grind you want whatever head you want or you know that kind of stuff will be available but as far as just the the public being able to bring whatever engine or ship whatever engine in and we we do that i think i think that's going to stop because that seems to be the the roadblock in, in our system because you know again everybody has great intentions and we you know we estimate whatever we'll we'll start on your job in january and we think it's going to take eight weeks and actually we don't start on it till february and we get a little done and we have to go back to something else and then we get a little done and then eight weeks turns into 16 weeks and then we started a month late or a month and a half late and it just you know and then people get not happy and and that's the last thing i want is for people to be not happy um so you know moving forward i just again i think that this is probably the safest way because i really enjoy the cam business better than than the engine stuff anyway i mean i love doing engine work but the the public aspect of it uh it's uh sometimes it's just tough to deal with people and uh and you know everybody knows how that is if you've been in any kind of retail stuff so uh i you know i just wanted to just put this out there because uh, you know and since again since youtube we get golly the amount of calls we get is crazy so obviously youtube's working but it might be working a little too good but you know but i, I appreciate everybody's been great this this contacted us and we we really do appreciate it we really do and people's buying parts and you know that uh, uh, at the end of the day that helps the bottom line and you know we we are in business to make a living and y you are helping and we really appreciate that we really do so uh but you know again 
it's just a public service announcement. I, I think that's what we're going. If you got thoughts, put, put them in the comments, you know. I mean, nothing is in concrete, but just with the amount of manpower we have, the, the resources are limited, and we only have a limited amount of time per day that we can do X amount of jobs. And, you know, if the cam work and new part sales are consuming 95% of every day, it's just hard to do much else, especially when, you know, the engine stuff, it just requires 100% of my focus to, to do it. You know, I mean, Andrew can tear down, Andrew can wash parts, but ultimately when we're measuring stuff, inspecting stuff, you know, going through the build, you know, even my wife, she, she does a great job ordering parts and all, but when it comes to what parts do we need to order, especially with the race engine stuff I, i've got to look the stuff up i got to come up with the part numbers and sometimes you know it's custom pistons and we got to go back and forth with whoever diamond or wise code to make that happen so you know it's just it's just super time consuming and there's really not much money to be made in that stuff so um, so, but, you know, but that's my thoughts. And, uh, if you have thoughts, put them, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. If somebody has got a different opinion about it, um, or if there's a better way I can do it. Cause like I say, I, you know, when it comes to this business stuff, I am not the guru by no means. So, uh, but we appreciate you. We really do. And, uh, like I say, just tell me what you think and we'll see you on the next one.